Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblog.com and in this video I will show you how to print ggplot2 plots within a for loop in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object is created and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object and then you will see that our data consists of four columns, x, y1, y2, and y3. And in the following tutorial, I want to create three plots within a for loop, whereby the first plot is showing a scatter plot between x and y1, the second plot is showing a scatter plot between x and y2, and the third plot is showing a scatter plot between x and y3. So if we want to draw a plot with a ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. And after running these lines of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to draw a scatter plot with a ggplot2 package, we could use the code of line 11 and 12. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new scatter plot is created at the bottom right of RStudio. And this is a scatter plot of the variables x and y1. In this tutorial, I want to create multiple ggplot2 plots within a for loop. So we can create such a for loop as you can see in lines 14 to 18 of the code. So in these lines of code, we are first specifying the for loop in line 14. Then in lines 15 and 16, we are simply copying the code that you have seen in lines 11 and 12. And then in line 17, I'm also using the sysleep function in order to wait two seconds after each plot is shown. So if you run these lines of code, you might think, okay, this is already enough to show our GG plots. However, if you run these lines of code, nothing is shown at the bottom right, even though the code of lines 15 and 16 is exactly the same as I have shown you before in lines 11 and 12. So what you have to remember is if you want to print plots within a for loop, then you always need to wrap the print function around the plot. And this is what I'm showing you here in the next for loop in lines 20 to 24. So this is exactly the same as the previous for loop, but this time I'm using the print function to show our plots within the for loop. So if you run this code, you will see at the bottom right that first the first plot is shown, then after two seconds the next plot is shown, and then again after two seconds the third plot is shown. I can do it again. The first plot is shown, the second plot is shown and the third plot is shown. These types of code are of course also useful in case you want to export your plots to PDF files or to GIF files on your computer. But as you have seen in this video, this is also a nice way to visualize multiple plots within RStudio. So in this video, you have learned how to print ggplot2 plots within a for loop in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm showing the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.